Good morning. It's Lisa Jane here with my live and this morning I was prompted to start talking about emotional safety. And there's, there's so much to this, but the more I work with emotional safety, the more I feel it myself and the more I see other people feeling emotionally safe, the more I realize it underpins almost everything because it's a feeling that you have inside yourself which impacts everything that you do in your life. So when you're going out in the world, when you're um, in your business, in, and especially in your relationships. And I was reflecting on my first relationship and it, it was a codependent relationship. It was one of those relationships where I had to be something other than what I really was um, in order to be loved and to get the security that I felt I needed. And, oh, you know, I was young and I was never taught how to meet my emotional needs myself. So the nature of this relationship was one that I was constantly trying to get this love that I was looking for, that I was trying to receive. And I was trying to rescue, I was trying to fix, I was trying to make the relationship work all the time. I often felt like I was walking on eggshells. And what would happen was when I didn't do what was expected um, by my partner, he would withdraw the love. And so I never felt emotionally safe. And that feeling of not being emotionally safe was something that I never even recognized when I was in that relationship. And if you've been through a breakup or you're going through one now, or maybe you're alone, can I strongly suggest that you begin to learn about how to keep yourself emotionally safe. Because what I've discovered is the more emotionally safe I can feel, the more amazing my relationship is with other people and also with a partner. And that impacts everything. That impacts your sex life, it impacts the way you talk about things, it impacts when you go out in the world. And, and even if you're not with your partner, knowing that you've got a place to be that's emotionally safe is just so incredible. So what does it mean to feel emotionally, emotionally safe and how can you do that for yourself? For me, being emotionally safe means I can turn up exactly how I am in this moment and feel whatever I need to feel, say whatever I need to say, and just be fully, fully, fully me. I know that I don't have to do anything or be anything other than that what I am now and that the person that I'm with, if I feel emotionally safe with them, will love me regardless of who I am. This is actually unconditional love. This is love that doesn't get withdrawn. So I feel that um, I was raised like no, nobody's fault. It was, it's our society that sort of brings us up to love in a way that is conditional, even if we're not aware of it. So as a parent, when a child might not do exactly what you want them to do, what you may not realize, what I never realized, was that unconsciously I withdrew the love from them. And so they received that as, oh, if I do this, I'm not lovable or I don't get loved. And so how could they feel emotionally safe with me if I'm going to withdraw the love every time they're not doing what I want or they're not behaving in a way I think they should um, or they're not turning up in a way that I feel proud of? So we create emotional safety for our kids. Now the paradox of this is that unless I feel emotionally safe inside of myself, unless I know how to make myself emotionally safe, it's very hard for me to do that for others. If I show up for other people in a way where it doesn't really matter who they are or what they're doing, they can be fully them and then they can feel like, wow, I can just be myself. And that also means that people that I know, I'm open to them changing. So I don't have a judgment around them. I don't have a preconceived idea about how they're gonna turn up in my life, which allows them to be in that moment and also allows them to change. And it doesn't block the connection I feel with them. So they can turn up because I feel emotionally safe, because I know that I can care for myself and that I can love myself and I can look after myself emotionally, I feel emotionally safe.
which means I can hold a space for other people to turn up and be who they are. They don't need to be anything for me. They can just be who they are. And so then they can start feeling emotionally safe. They can start expressing the fullness of them and being the trueness of them. And so coming back to yourself, what an incredible opportunity this moment is to start building your emotional safety. That means standing by your own side. So the places that you're in a relationship with somebody or a thing and you don't fully be yourself in order to keep that relationship there or you're not completely honest about what you really feel, you're not really being the truest you you can be in this moment, every time you stand in that place rather than the actually this my truth is not that I need to speak what I'm really feeling here every time you step away from what's true for you in this moment in order to keep somebody else happy or to maintain a relationship or to look good or to be accepted when you do that there's a part of you that doesn't feel safe anymore because there's a part of you that knows that you're not there for you when we aren't in a relationship or if we're going through a turbulent time in a relationship that is the opportunity for you to be there for you what is it you feel what is it you really want how do you want to express what you feel what is it you need to say now i'm not actually saying that you have to do any of that but start considering it what is it that i would say if i was being honest with myself what is it i would say if I was so courageous in this moment, I could speak exactly how I felt. What is it that I would say? How would I act? And maybe write it down. Start to think about it. Because then what would happen is, what happened for me is when I started to do those explorations, I began to work out a way that felt okay for me to speak my truth. And I slowly, slowly, slowly got into it. Like sometimes, and I remember a couple of years ago, I used to make things sound so beautiful and warm and fuzzy and flowery when I spoke my truth that by the time it landed on the person, they had no idea what I was talking about because I was really aware of how it would land on them emotionally. But being direct is actually a blessing for everybody. It doesn't mean you don't act with loving kindness. It just means you speak your truth. You speak what you feel. And when you say to someone, I'm feeling this, or that landed on me as a feeling and that feeling was, there's no blame there, there's no persecution. You're simply sharing what you feel. And how can anybody not wanna hear that? Or how can anybody um, misconstrue that? Like it is so, and it's just how you feel. There's no argument. So I would love to suggest and invite you to start considering how you can make yourself feel emotionally safe listening to your feelings, giving yourself the safety to feel what you need to feel and the protection to feel what you need to feel. It doesn't mean you have to act on anything just now. But write it down, feel it. Consider what it might look like in your future if you did start to change some of those actions and if you did start to implement some of those things. Love yourself enough to allow yourself to feel because life is a feeling engagement and the more we can work with our feelings the more we can stand by our own selves and and fully engage in the feeling experience of our lives the more magical it becomes because we're not suppressing an incredible part of ourselves the part of us that engages and connects and loves so are you feeling emotionally safe and if you're not feeling emotionally safe, what little step can you take today to help yourself feel emotionally safe? Maybe it's just acknowledging how you feel, validating the fact that, hey, why wouldn't I feel insecure? Why wouldn't you? I mean, the world's pretty chaotic. Why wouldn't you feel jealous if you're feeling jealous? I mean, maybe there's things happening that it would be a valid feeling. It doesn't mean you have to act on it, but validate it because you're a human being and human beings have feeling experiences and that's just the way it is. So I invite you 
to take one little step today to help yourself feel emotionally safe because it will have a ripple effect on everything around you. Sending love for a beautiful day.